Hi everyone, it's Andrew here from Peak Chiropractic Limited, and what I want to talk about today um, is about correct breathing technique to help bring the body out of fight and flight mode and bring it out of sympathetic distress, um, which will ultimately allow us to relax the nervous system um, and help to reduce aches and pains throughout the body, um, particularly lower back pain, because we're going to work also on, on diaphragm lengthening in some of these later videos. Um, so there's a couple of keys to correct breathing technique um, that we're going to talk through and these tend to need, need to be used um, for a couple of minutes at a time throughout the day or you can spend a period of five or ten minutes morning and night to get this correct eventually these breathing techniques are going to become habit um, and we'll be looking pretty good from there and we'll have a, a nice good oxygen supply to the body and we'll decrease vagus nerve tone decrease phrenic nerve tone and bring this from sympathetic overdrive into parasympathetics which will reduce down our fight and flight mode and allow us to feel a lot better okay so this is nice and simple to do throughout this when you're breathing you're always going to have your mouth closed okay so mouth's going to be closed your tongue is going to rest on the roof of your mouth just behind your top teeth um, so your tongue's going to sit in that resting position mouth's going to be closed and we're going to be breathing in and out through the nose okay we're going to breathe in for approximately um three seconds we're going to pause for two and then we're going to breathe out for five seconds so each breath should be about 10 seconds long which is quite interesting because if you consider each breath will be about 10 seconds long, a correct breath, that's six a minute. Um, a lot of the common um, medical texts suggest that we should ideally look for 11 to 12, maybe up to even 15 breaths a minute. And frankly, I just think that's too much. If people are breathing in 15 um, times a minute, they're breathing in far more than they're breathing out. And every time we breathe in, we're priming the sympathetic nervous system and, and, and priming the vagus nerve, the phrenic nerve, um, and just stressing the nervous system more than it needs to be. Okay, um, So we should always have a longer exhale than we have an inhale, and one breath every 10 seconds, so about six to seven a minute will be perfect. So you're simply going to, lips closed, tongue resting on the teeth of the, teeth of the mouth, roof of the mouth behind the top teeth sorry you're going to have your um, top and bottom teeth slightly separate and all you're going to do is you're going to breathe in for three seconds pause for two and out for five so it looks something like this so we're going to breathe in again for three pause for two and breathe out for five. Perfect. And that would be a normal um, recuperative breath. You want to look at doing those for about two minutes at a time. Stagger that throughout the day and eventually that breathing pattern when you're at rest should become your norm and your sympathetics and parasympathetics are going to settle down nicely.